everyone welcome to our new segment fashers first day in this video speak better write better we are going to interact with our faculty members from the department of english we will discuss about the challenges and difficulties our students face if they are coming from a one of your background our experienced professors will share the common struggles these students face and the special teaching methods they use and the resources and support systems we have in place to help these students do well now let us hear what the professors have to suggest what are the common challenges that you have observed among students who come from vernacular background when they first join colleges and universities yeah so here we have students from diverse backgrounds um so those who come from the vernacular background they face a confidence problem when they are asked to speak they are hesitant and reluctant so i think that is the biggest challenge to make them speak in english inside the classroom is one of the biggest challenges that teachers face usually those who come from the vernacular backgrounds they often lose interest in the subject when the classes are conducted in the english language so that again in turn uh affects their attendance attention span students who come from vernacular backgrounds or like we say uh non english backgrounds they often tend to have fear of the language because english is often being regarded as the respected but the most feared language and they they i think they face lots of uh, issues with their confidence when it comes to uh expressing themselves communication plays a lot of uh, role while you are studying or in your interpersonal relationships and communication actually builds your career so as to say and uh, in communication we focus probably uh, first and primarily on lsrw skills which is listening speaking writing and reading skills majority of the students also i feel they are not aware about the importance of the language english which we create some awareness in a friendly manner not to alarm and not to warn and the measures that we take is we have english lab classes where we conduct various activities uh for example role play debate group discussions and we make them you know pair with the non english medium students with the advanced uh students so that they can learn with each other because we believe in peer teaching which is more useful and yes we have also the uh, communication club from our department where we provide various activities and competitions and uh, the awards and the certificates will, uh, are given and this boost their confidence and uh, they come up with their various uh, uh, participations in your experience have you ever observed any student struggling like psychologically or emotionally in coping up with the english speaking environment oh uh, well yes i kind of have a bit miss that a lot in my career because i have noticed there is a certain barrier between people coming from the vernacular mediums and people coming from english mediums for some reason the people come uh, like the students who are coming from the vernacular mediums have this you know preconceived notion that the people who are coming from the english mediums are way cooler than them so what happens is that uh, instead of just you know coping up with the fact they make it a kind of a shackle in their mind that it's like if i speak wrong i'll be barred completely i'll be you know kept aside and not be talked to so that actually you know kind of restricts them to become familiar with their friends and what i have noticed due to this is that they don't even try to cooperate in the class also if you maybe they are good students but what happens is they stop talking they make it a point that they will not speak at all because they are it's not that they don't know how to speak in english but they are just kind of aware that probably they will be making mistakes which restrict them from going so we have a very well resourced uh, communication uh, lab where we use audio visual uh, uh, techniques we use a lot of audio visual aids in our classes uh, where we teach students uh, communication and in our lab classes uh, we also use pictures so uh, in this is uh, to focus on the graphic memory so in order to develop their uh, in, in order to develop their communication via modes of audio visual techniques and uh, picture modes so this helps them in communication and apart from this we also expose them to a lot of other teaching methodologies such as 
no we asked them to uh, focus on public speaking through classroom presentations and uh, various other techniques such as uh, debates discussions extempores all these things are practiced in the language lab and apart from this we also have a communication club uh, where uh, particularly communication skills are endorsed and uh, they are taken care so my question to you is that what are the teaching techniques or methods that you adopt to help students from vernacular background to get comfortable with an english language curriculum well uh, at the very beginning i try to give them the idea i use reference from performances it it can be a musical performance a dance performance a theater performance i try to tell them that when you go out into the professional world when you sit for interviews and you conduct seminars or whatever where you have to speak in english so that is the final show time this in the classroom what we are doing now teaching and learning and discussing communicative english so this is like a rehearsal and you can go wrong in rehearsals so please feel free to speak up do not hesitate it's okay if you say something wrong it's perfectly all right so please speak up whatever is there in your mind we try to incorporate them in a lot of group activities where they can have a little bit of confidence in speaking or expressing themselves when it comes to methodology wise we have specific courses available for them like uh, functional english courses and communicative english courses which are more application based courses so that they know what to say when they are going to face interviews or any other serious uh, professional activities could you please share some strategies or success stories that will help the students uh, since i am from english department uh, recently a student uh, called lalit sharma he graduated from our university though he comes from an english medium background from the remotest corners of up actually but his english used to be not that fluent or i would say not that great but uh, he worked upon it and then and uh, you will be surprised to know that he published a book on public speaking actually so anything can be done actually students must expose themselves to a lot of uh, audios as podcasts apart from you know uh, vernacular uh, audios they must expose uh, expose themselves to english audios hear podcasts and uh, you know watch english movies read english story books and uh, in their interpersonal relationships also they must uh, speak in english so as to you know develop a better uh, confidence in speaking and uh, communicate at penwe university our faculty members are dedicated to create an inclusive learning environment we at penwe are always there to support our students no matter where they come from and we know they will do great stay tuned for more updates